The State Department of Environmental Protection says it will work alongside federal monitors to find out the cause of a potential cancer cluster at Colonia High School. Governor Murphy making his first public comments about the issue, saying his administration wants to get to the bottom of what happened. News 12 New Jersey's Alex Zidane in Woodbridge with the latest. We absolutely have concern. Governor Murphy speaking out for the first time about a potential cancer cluster at Colonia High School as the Department of Environmental Protection says it still needs to determine whether any relevant environmental exposure concerns are present at the site. I don't know that we know enough yet to be definitive in terms of causation, etc. But I know for sure um, that the tragedy that many lives are going through have some nexus to the to the Colonia High School. So that's something that we take very seriously. Testing for radon and radiation levels is ongoing after a whistleblower tallied at least 104 instances of rare tumors and cancers among thousands of graduates and staff over the decades. The toll of cancer is literally written on signs around Colonia High School. The road into and out of school is named after a beloved coach who died in 2007 from glioblastoma. But a local health expert says it's always possible that in any large population of people, there will be instances of tumors and cancers. It doesn't rule out that there isn't some cause. It just means that we have to be careful that, you know, we're not sewing so again, sort of drawing lines around areas of, of, of locations and times when there's randomly an increased uh, in incidence of cancer. Dr. Rob Lombach of the Rutgers School of Public Health says there are also natural sources for radiation and radon. You know, it is one of those public health issues that is often overlooked because it's natural. Woodbridge Mayor John McCormick said this weekend there's no indication there's anything wrong with the school building or ongoing health concerns for current students. For most uh, cancers, and that would include, you know, brain cancers, for example, uh, in most cases, we don't know what the cause was. It could take a month or more for the preliminary results from the emergency studies to come back. In Woodbridge, Alex Sedan, News 12, New Jersey. The Federal Agency for Toxic Substance and Disease Registry is working with the DEP to do an assessment of the site.